Welcome to Mechanic. Today we have a 2013 Tesla Model S. On this vehicle, I'm going to show you where you add um, coolant to the vehicle. This takes a coolant to keep the uh, electrical systems cool. Uh, it's, it's an antifreeze, uh, same as a, a standard car, but it's just to keep the electrical components cool. And so you have radiators on the front um, that this runs through, keep cool, and then pumps through the uh, different systems of the car. So there is a place to be able to add, um, check the level, and add um, that, that coolant. So um, we've got the, uh, the front bay open, or the front trunk. A lot of times we would call it the engine bay on a standard vehicle. So we raise that up, and with it raised up, then we need to just pop this cover off. This just um, holds in there. We got clips that hold it in on the back and whatnot. So you pop this off, get your access, and then we have a reservoir. I mean, we have all three reservoirs here, washer fluid, brake fluid, and then um, your uh, coolant for the vehicle. So the antifreeze coolant goes in here. We have um, the max line, minimum line. We just want it in there. Now this cap you do not remove if it's hot because it can uh, steam or hot water and burn yourself. So we need to spin this cap off and then being able to add the uh, coolant up to the max line and that's it. And then just being able to put the cap back on and make sure it's good and tight. And this is, um, you'll have a little bit that will evaporate off over time, but this is a uh, closed system. And so you should only be, um, you shouldn't have to add a lot over the time of your vehicle. But if you have to constantly add some, and you, then you're going to need to find where is it leaking to replace whatever um, hose or radiator that may be bad. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.